Well, look what's standing right in front of me. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. We went ahead and bought ourselves a 2021 State Park Pass this year, Winning. Yeah, and we're gonna hit every one of them. There's 25 state parks within this state and 13 of them have fire towers. This is Obachi State Park. It is located 30 miles south of Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was originally the Wells County State Forest and Game Preserve formed in the early 1930s. In 1962, it became the Obachi State Recreational Area before finally achieving state park status in 1983. Now winning, let's get to the real reason why we particularly chose this state park. We bought some gold. So there's a tie here between the bison and the gold. Yes. And that would be our biggest gold purchase to date, a 2021 24 karat gold buffalo. Bison. <laughs> She's a beauty. Just look at that shine. And we thought this would be the perfect place to go ahead and show off this coin in front of these critters. I don't know, I usually think the critters are small. These are, these are some big critters. Could you, Could imagine, you imagine if, imagine if these if large critters were actual gold? What is happening? Trippy. 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 Whoa. Whoa. I want I one. Want one. <laughs> Really? You added a dream sequence to our video? Yeah, wasn't it cool? Actually, it was. You know another good dream of ours? Is to acquire 20 of these bad boys, and that's exactly what we want to do. A lot of our silver goals have been met, so we backed off in buying a lot of silver, but there's a few series we are chasing. We're not going to be done with silver entirely, but we've really backed off, and now going to definitely chase after more gold. I want 20 of these. We will make it happen, I'm sure. Another thing we're going to make happen is we're going to hit all 25 of these state parks this year, along with 13 fire towers, as we mentioned earlier. The one in this park is 100 foot tall and will be featured in our next video. We also plan on taking coins to all these state parks this year. Towards the end of each video, I will read you the pamphlet that we got at the front gate and we'll show you some winning image photography's pictures, which she does extremely well. Thank you. <laughs> Obachi State Park. This area of Wells County was once occupied by the Miami, whose villages flanked the banks of the river that bears the name Wabash. Obachi is difficult to spell, but easy to pronounce. O -ba -chi. In 1829, the first settler built a cabin along the river near the eventual state park site. After the Native Americans were removed to reservations in Kansas and Oklahoma during the 1830s and 40s, the area was rapidly settled and cleared for farming. Obachi was first acquired and operated as the Wells County State Forest and Game Preserve in the early 1930s. By that time, the area had been cleared of most of its mature timber stands and, as a result, was severely eroded. The area gradually returned to a more natural state through the efforts of the CCC, Civilian Conservation Corps, and the WPA, Works Progress Administration, programs of reforestation and land management. Their major activities included constructing the various buildings and shelters of native stone and timber, planning for a nursery, and developing a game preserve. At one time, the park was widely acclaimed as the greatest wildlife laboratory in the United States for its raising of pheasants, quail, raccoons, and rabbits. One can still see remnants of the old pens along some of the trails. By the early 1960s, the game raising program was phased out. In 1962, the park was designated Obachi State Recreation Area, administered by the Division of State Parks. These days, other than the presence of some of the original buildings, the park's appearance scarcely resembles that of its early existence. In 1983, the State Recreation Area became a state park. Features include a modern campground, 
tennis and basketball courts, seasonal naturalist service, picnic areas, play fields, and boating and fishing on the 25-acre Cunnel Lake. An exhibit featuring American bison, commonly known as buffalo, is located just north of the fire tower. One thing missing out of this pamphlet was the size of this pen. Yeah, it's 20 acres. Decent little size for him. We actually went around the whole thing two different times over a span of two weeks going to the state park because the first time we went, the fire tower was closed. And then we went just a couple days ago and it was open and we've shot another video which we're going to feature next week of us going up that fire tower and featuring yet another gold coin as we're on to the gold winning on to the gold <laughs> well everyone it's going to wrap this up remember to like subscribe and all those other good things we'll see you on the next video bye everyone Some of them like to eat them too. They're tasty. Oh. <laughs> just, just, just.